Hello and welcome to 18 TV. As you can see this morning, this is part two of replacing this fence. At the moment you see the netting and the old posts which are all pretty much 90% rotted out are on the floor. And electric uh, fence that I put up the other day is keeping the cows up there. But something interesting going on, all on about how dry it suddenly got. Well, you need a proper cross section here. So here is the hole, and you can see this, where my finger is, is the turf line. I push it back, there's the grass. And as we go deeper, this is so dry. That is so dry. So everything that the root is getting is just it's solid for a post hole borer it's working really well because it's dry and we're getting a really nice cut hole but plants need water like this wetter stuff here is from right in the bottom of the pit which is subsoil which is you know not really good to anyone that's how dry we are getting or getting i think the word more how dry we've got <laughs> awesome but little fundamental problem is it leaves as you take it out it leaves loose behind but the fortunate thing is you can lie on the floor pull out your hands because it is all soft and quite easy to do Right, I just got back. I had to go find another couple telegraph poles and get them cut up to six foot. Um, again, if you're just shooting, or if you get what I said before, telegraph poles, because they're free. If you ask the electric board very nicely, um, when they're in replacing poles, they will leave them behind for you. So we always do that. So for jobs like this, it's perfect so in this current situation at the moment where uh, being careful where you spend if you're with me we're putting a fence in for free free posts uh we're gonna put barbed wire which is high tensile which was on the fence before the wire is fine if it wasn't for the post rotting out the wire would still be tight and straight um so aren't buying anything there. Also, the electric wire is gonna go onto it as well in a bit. And then I'm gonna show you another little thing which were made before, which can be made very easily out of a bit of Alcathene pipe as the insulator for the electric wire going post to post. <laughs>
we've got on the home straight. Finally. Finally. Last three posts. And job's good. Things I'm just sort of saying to Charlie here is youngsters, if you're starting a farm, anything like that, and you're looking at trying to do things cheaply but to last as long or as long a time as possible, use telegraph pole. But when you start putting them in, pack it in in layers. So as you see where I'm pointing now, we're packing in the second layer that we've just put in. Right, then we'll put in some more, pack that in, and then put in the last bit, pack that in tight. Talking about this, you can take shortcuts, and trust me, they don't work. They end up, it just doesn't give you the same time frame that you're thinking. So you could fill the hole all the way in, and then tamp it in, but you won't have enough compaction and your post will move. Okay, so, Trust me when I say I've tried to cheat everything I've ever been taught to prove my grandfather and father wrong. And I've won 10% of the time, okay? Especially on these old school ways of doing things. Now, others of you are probably thinking, well, why don't you just get a post rammer and some big stakes? Well, could get a post rammer and some big stakes. Cost money, right? Rather put money to machinery, not to bloody bits of wood. Uh, Telegraph poles are free, number one. If you turn a telegraph pole into a stake, which I have tried before, sometimes they split under a post rammer. Okay, you've got to remember it's second hand timber, it's been around a long time, and you can have it splint, it, it can split and it can also splinter. Um, and it just, long term, is, is just pointless because if you do split the wood and you leave the wood in water gets into the wood where you don't want it and the best thing about telegraph poles is they're obviously you know coating freaking bitumen and uh, treating all sorts of things to make them last ridiculous amounts long or ridiculous lengths amount of time like i know stakes are treated but stakes aren't treated like they used to be treated as soon as they took arsenic away from the treatment of timber Timber didn't start, Timber really started like going quite quickly. Now that's out of my generation, that's generation before, but we had timber lying around for years that was coating arsenic, and my father and grandfather both told me about it, that it's never been the same since. So that's why I'm saying it. 